breezy. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to finish all of this, but um, I had yeah, to listen to some of it. I think I listened to mostly 11 a.m. Ain't that what you doing, like the 11 a.m. and 11 p.m.? No, 11 11. That's the only uh, time of the day where all four numbers are the same number. So, and it only ha- it happens twice a day because a.m. and p.m. And it's angel numbers, like how you see 222, 333, 444. Oh, see, because I'm looking at the track list and I thought I seen 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. on one side. <laughs> Oh, uh, he might he might have did that. It is is this supposed to be like a double disc? Because it's uh twenty two songs. Yeah, it is divided. Yeah, two parts. So That's yeah, I guess he does have eleven a.m. and eleven p.m. But it, uh, eleven, like I said, eleven eleven is angel numbers. Um, I was liking the way this started off, and like I said, I haven't heard the whole thing, so I can't really give a full on review, but. The only issue right now I have with it is kind of when he get into the Afro beats and it's not necessarily him on the Afro beats is they start to blend in with each other. It's like, nigga, this song sound the same a little bit. So, I know, I, but why they can't squash all that beef? Like, what's their real beef? Ain't nobody shoot at nobody. Ain't nobody beat nobody up. So what, what, what's, the, I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. And I'm just like, if she's squashing beef with her, I was just being optimistic, Tony. <laughs> yeah. And if we getting this Meg, we heard on the Cobra, and I wouldn't mind it. She sound like she going in. She's talking to talk. I feel like growth. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel like she <laughs> she, she trying to let all this industry bullshit go Shout out, Tony. and just focus on yep. the music, which I wish she would have stayed like that in the first place. But you know. When you come up in the game by yourself, that's how it is. But yeah, I was feeling uh, Chris Brown. He had some. <clears throat> I the critique I wanted to give it. I don't. I'm trying to figure out how how I want to say it because I don't want to condemn condemn him or what am I saying? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to make it sound like this is a bad thing. But I feel like the songs are wordy. Like it's a lot of words. It's not something you just easily catch on to but like it's it that doesn't make it a bad song but then at the same time it's not like super catchy so like but then it's like people complaining about stuff not really being having depth this and, and that's just like i i don't know i'm gonna have to k- keep listening but right now i'm in like the afrobeat section because i don't know i guess that's what everybody doing right now they just having them to- which I don't I mind, it. cause like yeah. what I what I what I like about Christo is his passion for singing. Chris is gonna sing his face off in these songs. He's not half ass singing none of this shit, and that's one thing I love about his work ethic and his consistency. No matter what he's singing about, he gonna sing about it, and he gonna make you feel it. But um, do I think all these songs is great? They're good songs. I don't um nothing has really stuck out to me like a whole whole lot yet. But also I'm not that much of a Chris Brown fan. Not <laughs> saying and that's not because of anything he did, because I'm not one of those people. Like I said, hell if she forgave him, what why am I holding it against him? Facts. I'm just, it was I just situation. never <laughs> Yeah, I've just never been that type of person where I was like, I gotta hear a Chris Brown album or ooh. Chris Brown, you know what I mean? That's I'm just not a fan. I appreciate Chris like, Brown being creative with the music as far as R and B, being one of the lead, the last oh, R and B yes. artists able to make that actual R and B sound and give us something kind of different and giving us something where we can kind of go back to those nineties type of feelings or whatever, but still sounding up to date. And that's why I like about uh some of the songs I was hearing out here. Chris Brown make them songs where you be like, damn, I might picture myself in one of them videos. <laughs> I'm in my own music video now. <laughs> now you referencing some shit I got going on, or a, a song that I could go back to and think about a situation I was in, with, whether it's an ex or anything like that. Not thinking about no ex or nothing like that, but just as far as the whole tone of the R and B and what you didn't get no more, what we used to get. But uh, I still got to finish this. I got to finish it, and I am looking forward to finishing it. 